welcome to my second, first, my second reading vlog. I'm getting ready to go to the gym to climb with my friends Chris and Nancy. I might do some reading there if I end up staying a little longer to moonboard. Tonight Sammy has volleyball so probably we'll do some more reading, maybe start my book journal. Yeah. All right. See you at the gym. with me today so the lights are gonna be wrong I've been working on this v3 moon board problem v3 6a plus it's called black tip by uh, I have to check later Bryant Noble and honestly it would be a v3 for anyone else but a shorty cuz I can't for the life of me reach G10 like I can reach it if my left hand was on any other hold than this bottom one and I have to jump for it because yeah I, my toe doesn't reach the footboard so frustrating because this v3 isn't even the hardest v3 in all the v3 benchmarks but it's giving me such such pain they tell you not to uh, moonboard back to back. What I mean is like, try the problem over and over again. You should rest every minute for each move you do. Say you do three moves on the moonboard, you should rest three minutes. I brought a book with me to read in the breaks instead of scrolling Instagram or something on my phone. I'm reading Babel this week. Here it is. I'm trying not to get it too chalky. Something I realized too late. Not too bad. I could just wipe off the chalk later. I'm gonna do a different problem now called Shin Ramen, so I can't set it on the mode board, so ignore these. Ignore these lights. So no sun today, but probably next time. I got to go home to work because it's a work day. So I will see y'all later. Hey y'all, I just finished work. I think 5.45 PM. I put a book on hold two months ago and it's finally ready for pickup. Like today's the due date of pickup. So I'm gonna head to the library and go pick up my book. Peace. Hello. I just came back home from the library. Well, I had dinner. I came back from the library a while ago. The book I put on hold is Happiness for Beginners. This is like the hold sticker. I saw this movie first on Netflix. It's the movie with Ellie Kemper. I put it on hold at the library two months ago and I just, just acquired it. The movie, the movie was really good. I really enjoyed the movie. It's like a romantic comedy. It's definitely not like an Oscar winning film by any means. This, it's just a simple rom-com. Gives you that feel good, feel good vibes. 
You just watch it for a good time. I'm hoping the book is the same way, but I was gonna read it after Babel, which is this book. And <laughs> this is a book I brought to the climbing gym. There's still chalk on this book. I didn't read that much while I was resting, which I should have expected. I was going to read a lot tonight while Sammy's out playing volleyball. I have a cozy night in, nothing to do, just time to read. Excited to dive deeper into this book. I also ordered a book on Amazon now that I already have a list of books to read this month and I didn't think it would come on time. I might read it next month. So I'm just gonna open the package. It's pretty well packaged. to enter the book oh interesting the the covers like there's like a plastic film over the cover huh i wonder if the plastic film is supposed to be taken off and it was just added for protecting the book anyway the book i got was the plotters by unsu kim i couldn't find this in bookstores probably because it is translated this is a English translation of a Korean book. I believe is a thriller slash crime book. It follows an assassin named Rising. I hope that's a Korean pronunciation. The synopsis and plot seemed really interesting to me. It seemed very gripping. Like I wouldn't be able to put it down because I need to find out what happens next. Yeah, so got some good books. Probably read these two this month and this one next month. Also, I hope you appreciate the quality of this video. I've been using my phone to record, first of all. And when I'm filming myself, I use the selfie mode so I can like watch myself talk. But right now I'm filming with the back camera, which obviously the quality and pixels are better because it's the back camera. Enjoy the quality. <laughs> I just got to this part in the book where the main character meets his first friend. They're talking about books they've read. And the main character said he read a translation of an Arabic book. And the other character is like, oh no, which translation, like which author translated it? I think it's ironic that I just bought a translated book from a Korean book and that they're talking about how that translated literature can oftentimes be misinterpreted in the second language it's being translated into. So I just thought that was funny and I wanted to share it. Hello. What you looking at? Look at this 10 out of 10 loaf. Wow. 10 out of 10 loaf. Oh my goodness! Good morning! I got one fourth of the way last night. Uh, this book is really dense. Uh, dense in a good way, as in there's so much information. Historical fiction is usually outside my comfort zone, but because it's so tastefully incorporated with fantasy, I feel like I can handle it. The historical fiction isn't too heavy and the fantasy elements aren't too heavy either. They kind of mesh together very well, at least so far. I have two hours till I start working, so I'm going to be eating my breakfast and reading more of Babel. Hey 
good evening i finished babel today did i forget to the blog the past two days maybe um excuse me <laughs> i really love the character development in this book without spoiling the plot too much the ending just pulled at my heartstrings it hurt so much but i loved it but yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend this book, especially if you're looking for a blend of historical fiction and fantasy. It did a really good job of incorporating those two genres. I think next on my reading list is Happiness for Beginners and maybe uh, The Love Hypothesis. Totally opposite end of the spectrum in terms of book genre. I think I'm ready to have something light and fluffy to read next after to dark academic novels. So that concludes my second vlog. I hope you all enjoyed the climbing and the reading and the book reviews. It ended up being like a three, three-way vlog at this point, but I hope you all stay tuned for the next one. Bye.